Hey guys, welcome back to Erica's Joyful Oven. Today I'm making my father's traditional panchakram recipe and I am so excited to share this one with you. So let's get started. So this recipe calls for three eggs, but it's always best to crack the eggs individually and remove the strings on both sides of the egg yolks. Place your eggs into a large mixing bowl and we're gonna whisk the eggs together with one fresh lime peel. And we're not using the whole limes because we don't want the lime juice to affect the milk in the mixture. So we're only going to use the lime peel. This recipe does contain raw eggs on the basis that the alcohol is going to kill the bacteria in the eggs and make it safe for consumption. But if you wanted, you can pasteurize your eggs. Whisk it together with half cup of evaporated milk from the recipe in a glass bowl over a double boiler. And you're going to whisk the egg together just until it turns creamy and it's heated through. But again, this is a recipe that my family makes every year and the eggs are always safe for consumption because of the alcohol. So it's been about two minutes that I've been whisking the eggs together with the lime peel. And by now my eggs are a little bit light and the lime peel has cut the freshness of the eggs. Remove the lime peels and next I'll add one and a half cup of evaporated milk. 1 cup of condensed milk, 3 quarter cup of alcohol and I'm using here black label and 1 teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Stir these ingredients together well, you can use a whisk also and you want to make sure that all of the condensed milk has been dissolved into the mixture. Next I'll strain the mixture through a very fine strainer just to make sure that it's really nice and smooth. And now for the secret ingredient. 2 tablespoons of Angostura bitters and this makes the world of difference in the taste of the panchakram. And lastly, add a half teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg into the panchakram and as this steeps over time, the panchakram is going to taste even better. And your panchakram is now ready. I will add some eggless options in the description so be sure to check that out. Store your panchakram in a clean glass bottle and like a true trini, I'm using here a leftover cherry brandy bottle. So I'm going to pour you guys a glass of this delicious, aromatic, amazing panchakram and it's just like when my dad makes it. And you can see it's quite simple but it's so smooth, it has such a rich and creamy taste but the angostura bitters and the nutmeg really makes the perfect balance of flavours. So let me know if you guys try this recipe. Be sure to like and follow Erica's Joyful Oven on Facebook and YouTube for more amazing recipes. Bye guys!